There's a long dormant piece of me. Not so very badly. Wants out. What are you still doing, Hugh? Old oh, man. Welcome back, Movie Misfits. And today we're going to be discussing Nobody, which stars Bob Odenkirk, Connie Nielsen, Christopher Lloyd. And this film was directed by the director of Hardcore Henry and was written by... The guy who wrote the three John Wick movies. Bob Odenkirk plays Hutch. He's a married man with kids, just an average guy just moving through life. And he seems kind of bored with the everyday routine. It also seems like he has a very deep secret and it seems like that secret wants to get out. As we find out through a series of mishaps and unfortunate events, we find out that Hutch is a badass and he's been hiding this secret all along. And that's what's killing him because he's basically bored and missing the life of being a badass. And yes, we've seen this story hundreds of times, if not thousands by now. Someone you normally don't see in an action movie is now either an action star or an action hero. And I will say, this works for this character. Bob Odenkirk is a comedic writer and also a comedic actor, and also a dramatic actor as well. However, he pulls it off very, very well in this film. It feels like a John Wick type movie, that's because it's written by the same people that wrote the other three John Wick movies. And what sells this movie even more, I think, is because of Bob Odenkirk himself. Kind of like John Wick, where John Wick is like invincible, I feel like Bob Odenkirk's character, I feel like the age plays more of a factor in this film. He gets hurt. He stumbles here and there. He realizes he can't do things as quickly as he once did. Maybe it's because of age, or maybe it's just because he's been dormant for so long. The relationship between him and his father is really cool in this movie. His father being played by Christopher Lloyd. I won't go into much of what Christopher Lloyd's part is, but it is very cool to see Christopher Lloyd in a movie like this. We get some great action sequences in this movie. We get to see, with big wide shots, we can see Bob Odenkirk in action. And you could actually see that he's actually doing this himself through most of the movie. For me, that's something I really liked about this movie. The fact that the main character actually got hurt, actually got tired. I feel like we don't see that much anymore. We got to see that a lot. You know, maybe in the early 80s and 90s with the John McClane character that Bruce Willis would always play. He would get tired. He would constantly be bleeding, constantly getting hurt. Even the old Schwarzenegger movies, he always got hurt at some point. You'd get up and walk away, but you actually got hurt. I feel like we really don't see that anymore in action movies. Connie Nielsen plays his wife in this movie. She plays the part very well. You can, you can actually see the frustration that she's having in the beginning of the movie and also the frustration that he's also having with her in the beginning of the movie as well. You can tell that they're kind of slowly drifting apart. Not sure if it's because of the secret that he has that's keeping them apart or what. I won't go into any more details because I feel like that might be a potential spoiler. So hopefully if we get a sequel, we'll kind of dive in more into their backstory. The villains in this movie were okay, they weren't the best. I mean, there were no Hans Gruber or anything. They were basically there just to get their butts kicked and get killed in very cool ways, which is fine for me, because like I said, the selling part of the movie was Odenkirk himself, Christopher Lloyd, and Connie Nielsen. I won't go into any more who the other characters are, because I feel like that'll give too much away, and I feel like this movie needs to be seen on the big screen or seen at home. I feel like this movie's not getting enough attention, if you're into John Wick movies and films that are similar like that, I would definitely check this out. This movie is a good John Wick filler until we get the next one. This movie is very cool. Great action sequences, great characters, great main characters, I should say. Villains or whatever, but I mean, like I said, the action sequences are very cool in this movie. Bob Odenkirk puts a lot of work into this movie, so I thought that was actually very cool. I was very entertained with this movie. There was not a boring moment throughout the movie. It's actually not a very long movie either, so that's even better. I would definitely check out Nobody in the movie theater. Hopefully, if you're not too scared to see it in the movie theater, I would definitely go check it out. They are taking protocols, you know, for the pandemic. So if you're not too scared to see it in the theater, I would definitely check it out there or check it out on demand, but definitely check it out sooner than later. I give Nobody a B-. minus. All right, thanks a lot for tuning in. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe. I'm Mike the Movie Misfit and I'll see you at the movies. Get more out of life. Go out to a movie.